Hello YouTube, and uh, I've had this video ready for a while now, but I haven't um, had time to narrate over it because I didn't want to upload too many like Wi-Fi battles since I kept promising you guys I was going to do team build videos. So I'll probably upload this one after I've done my Mono Fairy team building video. But this was a little sweep that I pulled against um, Cupcake King. I will link his channel in the description if I remember. <laughs> I probably forget because I'm useless. But um, yeah, uh, he was. It was really nice of him to not rage quit, and this was his first time testing out this modern water team. And I feel really bad because this is a Venomoth sweep. I really wanted to pull a Venomoth sweep, and um, I'm really glad that I actually finally did it because I really love its design. There's just something I really like moths in general. Um, I much prefer them to butterflies, although <laughs> my boyfriend would desperately disagree because he hates them with a passion. But um, I really, really like moths. Moths are really sweet. They're like all furry and cute and cuddly. There's a type of moth called the poodle moth, which I'll put a picture up of, and it's so cute. So cute. How can you be scared of a poodle moth? Um, but yeah, uh, butterflies are definitely more terrifying than moths as well. Have you seen like their faces? Ugh. God, they're creepy as hell. So, um, this is a Venomoth sweep, like I said. A, a really, really nice Pokemon. I really like its design, and um, it gets quite a decent amount of coverage as well. So, I'll just um, get into the battle, really, or get into the sweep, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys don't mind me uploading sweeps. I know uh, a couple of my sweeps have had some dislikes, and I was kind of wondering why. Um, like, I don't try and go on and say that I'm amazing or anything. Um, So anyway, uh, Cupcake King is issuing the challenge. He's going to lead out with Squidward, who is his tentacle, shiny tentacle as well. And uh, I'm obviously going to lead out with Nox, who is my Venomoth. Um, I kind of, I just really like the set. It's uh, obviously a standard Quiver Dance and all that kind of jazz. So I'm obviously going to set up the Quiver Dance, and um, he's going to go for a Rain Dance. I'm guessing he doesn't really see me as much of a threat because. Um, this thing would technically wall me, really. Um, the only thing I'd have for it would be Giga Drain if I didn't have Hidden Power Ground. And um, it could have been Liquid Ooze, and Giga Drain is neutral and not super effective anyway. But um, I don't think he knew that I had Giga Drain, as Giga Drain is a transfer move anyway. So he's going to go for a knockoff there and knock off my Black Sludge, which is kind of unfortunate because that's my recovery. But I do have recovery in Giga Drain. I'm going to go for Hidden Power, and um, it does a really decent amount, although it's still in greens. Um, and he's going to go for a layer of toxic spikes, which I thought was rather odd because I do have a couple of poison types in this bug team. Um, and if you guys didn't know, when you swap a poison type in on toxic spikes, it actually just clears them away, which is really useful. Um, so I'm going to keep going for quiver dances here, and he's going to just kind of really let me set up on him. I think this is kind of um, the only reason Venomoth managed to sweep because I had a really easy setup because I don't think he saw how much of a threat I could be. Um, so he's going to swap out there, uh, he's, I'm guessing he's getting kind of scared because I've got a lot of boosts in and he's going to go into his Mantine uh, on my Hidden Power Ground as well, I'm not sure whether he predicted that or um, whether that was just lucky or oh, he's just swapping in because it's a special defense wall. So I'm going to go for a Bug Buzz and it's going to be resisted because of the flying typing. I misclicked there, I actually wanted to go for Giga Drain because Giga Drain is neutral whereas Bug Buzz is resisted. He's going to go for a Tailwind I think that was and um, the boost of speed of his team. But I've got so many boosts and stuff up that he can't really um, counter out my speed because I'm very, very fast now. Uh, I'm also timid, so I'm very, very speedy. So he's going to go for Scold. And in the rain, that's going to do a pretty decent amount considering all of the Quiver Dances that I've got. Because um, that's that 50% rain boost. And he's going to get some Lefty's Recovery there as well. And I'm um, just going to... Shut up, iPhone! <laughs> and I'm just going to go for a Goo Drain and um, try and get as much damage on this thing as I can. I can't really hit it with anything else. Obviously, it's immune to hidden power. It's going to resist Bug Buzz, so Giga Drain is pretty much all I've got, and it's very, very special defensive. It's going to go for another Scold, and surprisingly, I haven't been burned yet, because usually I get burned on the first Scold every single time. Always. Always get burned. It's meant to be a 30% chance, but it's usually a 100% chance on me. So I'm just going to finish this thing off with another Giga Drain, and um, that's going to take out the Mantine. And uh, the Mantine is down, which is... <laughs> it makes me so sad. I haven't really used my Mono Water Team in a really long time. I should probably blow the dust off them and bring them out. So he's going to bring in his Tentacruel. And uh, I'm just going to go for another Quiver Dance there. I'm boosting my Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. Quiver Dance is such a good boosting move. Um, it's very, very, very powerful. 
So he's going to go for a rain dance there again, um, probably trying to set up the swift swim and uh, the rain dish for the rest of his team. It's, uh, there he's setting up the rain dish for himself, but I'm pretty sure some of his team has swift swim as well. But uh, I don't think swift swim is going to save you because I've boosted my speed so much. I'm going for another quiver dance and um, getting all of those boosts. He's going to go for a sludge bomb, but that's not going to do too much to me because I am also a poison type. And... Um, I have all of those special defense boosts as well. So that actually did quite a decent amount when you consider how many special defense boosts I have and a resist. So I'm going to go for a hidden power and that's going to easily finish him off, which is um, fine by me. I have to run hidden power ground on this thing because of the heat, otherwise heat tram would just quad resist all of my moves. If I didn't have hidden power then I'd have probably gone for psychic and that would have um, meant that heat tram would have just walled me. So he's going to bring in his Gorbis. And uh, I'm assuming Gorbis is Swift Swim, but even with Swift Swim, it's not uh, fast enough to outspeed me. And um, he's going to go for a nice beam, which is obviously a special attack, so that's going to do next to nothing because of all my special defense boosts. I'm going to go for a hidden power here. I didn't see a point in wasting any more PP on Giga Drain or Bug Buzz, since it was on 1 HP, so Hidden Power Ground was going to kill it anyway. And Hidden Power's got like 30 odd PP, whereas. Bug Buzz and Giga Drain don't have as many. So I'm just gonna um, go for Giga Drain on this lantern. And um, I, does it live on one health? I'm watching this back in really. Oh no, it, that takes it out. I'm watching this back on really low quality, so the HP bar is like two pixels, so I literally cannot see anything. Um, so in comes Swampert, which is obviously GG. Uh, it's four times weak to grass, and I'm very, very, very boosted and um, it's scary so I'm just going to be able to easily take the thing out of Giga Drain. I don't know why he bothered Megarin because it was going to die either way but you know, may as well go super save before you die. So uh, his last Pokemon is Alalolomolalomola and um, I'm just going to be able to take that thing out of Giga Drain. We all know that they're very physically defensive but not so much on the special side and with all of the boosts um, and all that HP I am still able to take it out, and that is the end of the sweep. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching this video if you watched it till the end. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, then please subscribe. I don't only post sweeps. I am starting to do um, more team build videos and all sorts like that. And I do do a lot of Wi-Fi battles and multi-battles and stuff like that as well. So um, if you are interested, then please do subscribe, and I will see you guys around. Bye!